Yeah, I heard some people saying 10 minutes. For what? Why are you using Kojis? Why are you leaving Kojis and soap on your face? For 10 minutes? Why? Do you want to kill yourself? Let your skin breathe. <laughs> Let your skin breathe. I found peace in your violence. Can't tell me there's no point. In Hi guys. Hi beautiful people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, if this is the first time you are seeing this face, welcome. My name is Akune Kansi and I'm a content creator based in Abuja. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to safely use Koji Sand Soap in order to clear your hyperpigmentation, your dark spots and also to even out your skin. I see a lot of people using this soap very very wrong and when you use this soap very very wrong you're prone to damaging your skin and when you damage your skin you now come out and start saying oh this soap is a very bad soap no condition soap is not a bad soap it is the way and manner you're actually using the soap that soap is very very effective mark my word very 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 effective in treating hyperpigmentation dark spots and even now like to even out your skin i give it to that soap that's it's packed with high concentration of kojic acid just know that if you use this soap in the wrong way just know that you're prone to damaging your skin and that's why you mostly see this whole controversy of saying kojisan soap is bad yes there's a way you're going to be using this soap that is going to be bad for your skin to be honest so in this video, I'm going to be talking about everything you need to expect while using this soap and also how to incorporate this soap into your skincare routine and also I'm going to be telling you the do's and don'ts while using this soap. So if this sounds like what you are interested in, keep on watching. But please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, please subscribe and let's just get right into the video. I'm going to actually demonstrate how to use this soap but I'm just telling you the things you should do and the things you should not do before we go into the demonstration of how to properly use this soap so the first thing you should do is to get the original soap please get the original Koji San soap I cannot overemphasize this because there are so many fake in the market even the most reliable stores even sell the fake Supermarkets sell the fake, so you have to be extremely careful while purchasing this soap. Like, you need to know where you're buying this soap from. And thank God I have a video in this channel that actually talked about how to spot the fake, how to differentiate the original from the fake, how to know which one is original, how to know which one is fake. I'll be leaving that video down in the description box if you're interested in that video. Please watch it though, so that at least if you get the original, we can, we can now start talking about how to effectively use this soap because if you're using the fake what's now the point you get what i mean so please make sure you purchase the original soap because if you use the fake you're going to ruin your skin like please don't use this soap every day hmm sound soap yes is very good in treating hyperpigmentation and dark spots but it is also a chemical exfoliant and you already know that you cannot be using chemical exfoliants every day. Even if your skin is used to the soap, your skin can stand the soap. Please don't use this soap every day. It's just like say you are exfoliating your skin every day. You are peeling out the uppermost part of your skin every day. You should use this soap two to three times in a week. Max three times. You should not exceed using this soap three times in a week. In short, the best is using it twice. But if you want to stretch three times, do not use this soap with retinols, tretinoin, and chemical exfoliants. Do you see chemical exfoliants? Glycolic acid, salicylic acid, lactic acid, acid, mandelic acid. Anything that has chemical exfoliants, please don't use this soap with it. Because I already told you that Kojisan soap is already a chemical exfoliant. You are now combining it in a routine with your other chemical exfoliants. You're just setting up your skin for total disaster. Another thing you should not incorporate, like use this soap with is retinol or tretinoin. If you don't know, tretinoin has tretinoin tends to speed up your scale, uh, your cell turnover. 
we, um, chemical exfoliants try to exfoliate your skin. So if you notice, most times you can also have some peeling with retinoin. And you cannot retinoin or retinoin is already harsh for the skin. You're not carrying a, chemi a known chemical exfoliant with your retinoin or retinoin. You're just signing up yourself for total hours disaster. It should not even be in the same routine. The days you're using this soap, don't use this other actives with it. It's a no-no. So these are actives you can use this soap with. So you can use this soap with vitamin C. You can use this soap with niacinamide. You can use this soap with alpha butene. You can use this soap with um, liquid rice. This even this also enhance. Like this also makes the soap to act faster. So we all know that liquid rice, alpha butene, niacinamide, vitamin C also help in in dealing with your hyperpigmentation and dark spots. You using these actives with this soap will also help to enhance the soap and then you will see faster results. Please use this soap only at night. Please don't ever use this soap during the daytime. Kojic acid in this soap is in high concentration. Kojic acid makes your skin very sensitive to the sun. So you cannot be using Kojisan soap during the daytime. It is for best result. Please just use it strictly in the night. This soap, using it in the daytime, will not even clear any hyperpigmentation. Right? It will make your hyperpigmentation worse than what it was before. So please try and avoid using this soap during the daytime. And only stick to using it at night. So the next thing you should do while using this soap is ensure you wear your sunscreen. I cannot be repeating this thing. Kojisan, kojic acid is a chemical exfoliant. It also helps with your hyperpigmentation. So on no account should you be using a strong active like this during the daytime and then in the morning you're not wearing sunscreen. Hey. In short, when you're treating hyperpigmentation, when you're treating uneven skin tone, when you're treating dark spots, the first treatment is sunscreen. Before you start looking for other active to incorporate into your skincare routine, but have a sunscreen. So before you even buy that Kojisan soap, please get a sunscreen. Kojisan soap makes your skin very sensitive to the sun. And you know applying sunscreen is like doing a control damage. You're just worsening your skin condition. So please get a sunscreen. Get a sunscreen for the daytime. You use Kojisan in the night. The next day, please apply your sunscreen. And apply it every two hours. Apply this sunscreen judiciously. So you don't get some bono. You don't get, you don't get more hyperpigmentation than what you even started with while using this soap. These are the things when you don't do, you now come and say, oh, this soap is not working. How will it work? You're trying to fade dark spots. You're not using a sunscreen. So you rub the soap, use the soap, you enter sun. And the sun will be harming your skin again. Hey, joker, please get a sunscreen if you're going to be using this soap. Long-term use of this soap is a no-no. Let me repeat myself. Long-term use of this soap is a no-no. Please, if you are targeting a certain hyperpigmentation on your face, once you have treated that hyperpigmentation, please discontinue using this soap. Once you have achieved the results, of you getting this soap for please discontinue using this soap this soap is not a long-term goal you can use this soap for like two months stretch take a break let your skin breathe <laughs> let your skin breathe then like let's say let your skin breathe for like two months then you start using this soap but you know this one year in year out you're using kojisan so from january to december you're using kojisan so it is wrong then the second thing is once you notice severe burning stinging of this soap your skin has a lot of white patches bad sensation weird texture on your skin please discontinue this soap this is not a do or die affair once there is redness sensitivity when, when I mean says no, 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 this soap stings, you get, we all know. Notice that over time, the stinging is severe, 
it's born like it's burning you it's stinging you your face is looking weird stop the soap so that you don't damage your skin beyond repair moisturize slash hydrate your skin i think i need to speak up let the person behind here this thing moisturize slash hydrate your skin kodisan is very very drying very stripping hey you need to if you don't have any moisturizer you don't have any hydrating products please don't buy this soap don't bother so essence hydrating essence hydrating toners moisturizer even facial oil if necessary use it like some people it is that it is that bad that they even start peeling you know the thing threatening no indoors to your skin this soap is like a a brother to threaten oil. very drying very stripping it will even be some, some like i've experienced it i'll be peeling they'll be peeling of your skin so to to restore your skin barrier you need to hydrate you need to moisturize good moisturizer should be your friend while using this soap this is not a face soap some people has changed this soap to permanent face soap some people use this soap as their face cleanser this is wrong cortisone soap should be used as a spot treatment it should not replace your face cleansers it should not be your face soap so please is not a face soap this is a spot treatment and this bring me to the next point use this soap as a spot treatment let me repeat myself again because this is very very important use this soap as a spot treatment so when using this soap your main target should be the hyperpigmentation should be the dark spots on your face where you have those dark man that bothers you that is where you should put this soap on you shouldn't be rubbing the soap all over your face it is so so wrong apply this directly on the dark spots you want to treat then you leave it for two to three seconds let me come again because some people don't use to hear i heard some people saying 10 minutes for what why are you using kodis why are you leaving kodis and soap on your face for 10 minutes why do you want to kill yourself anyways you're meant to you leave this soap on that dark spot for two to three seconds your body you can use it longer for like one minute if you want me to make a video on how to use kodi sound soap on your body just let me know in the description in the comment section i will create that video for you so with all this said and done let me now demonstrate how to use this soap on your face Basically, the first thing I do while using this soap is to double cleanse because obviously I'm going to take out my sunscreen I want to make my skin very very clean so I go in with my oil cleanser first and then I go in with my water-based cleanser so I, wash, I just wash my face so I'll just wash my face so I cleanse my face for 60 seconds yeah so i make sure i cleanse my face properly let me go wash out my face i'll be back so i've rinsed out my cleanser so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go in with my koji sand soap as a spot treatment so there are two there are ways you could do this always um cut your soap in small boxes this is where i keep my kojisan soap inside this uh, container i have a designated container for my kojisan soap so you have to wet the soap and go in with your hand and touch on the places you want to spot treat but because i will not advise using your hand because there was a point that sometimes your hands are going to be looking lighter because the, the soap is obviously touching your hand so your hands will start looking lighter so another way you could use is going in with a QT, that's the earbud. Just wet it on the soap and then you spot treat. Another so I have this brush is I don't know where you can get this, but I use this to spot treat. I don't know if you can see it. It's just a brush that 
I used to spot three. But on my forehead, I have a dark spot here. So I'm just going to like um, touch them with this brush. Just very little. Anywhere I'm having hyperpigmentation, I just touch it. So that's for the brush. I'm going to show you different ways. This is for that brush. If you can't find this brush, you can use your normal. So this is the Q-tip. So you can see it. It's more precise. Like it just gets the, the dark spots. There are just little dark spots on my face. I don't know if you can see how I'm doing it. You can also use your hand. So I'm going to be using my hand just to demonstrate um, how to use with your hand. So you just touch on the places that you go. After using your hand, please ensure that you wash your hand very well. Do you understand? Please wash your hand effectively. You get it. So yeah, so that's it. So we're going to leave this on for two to three seconds. Then we're going to wash our face and then we'll be back. So I'm done washing off the Kojisan soap for my face. So the next thing I'm going with my toner, I'm going to be using this Essay Well toner. Please hydration is key. Please hydrate your skin. Like your life depends on it. Because Kojisan soap can be a bit dry. So hydrate, hydrate. Hydrate. So yeah, remember anything to your face, please do to your nail. So I hydrate my skin very well. Yeah. I think you really want my hand. So I'll just allow this thing to dry and then I go in with my essence. So I'm Tiam Snail and Azulin water because I want to double up with my hydration. So this is how I basically do it. So I go in. I think you're onto my hand. So I love this to like dry down very well. Next thing I, will, I love going in with at night is the Balance Active Niacinamide. So I'm going to be using this. This is just to, like I said before, you can use the, what's it called? The Kojisan soap with Niacinamide. It will help to help with your hyperpigmentation and to help the Kojisan soap work faster. So yeah. So I go with my nice cinnamon. This is just how I incorporate it into. So this is how I use my my cookie sand soap. This is basically how I use my cookie sand soap. So I go in after. So I go in with my nice cinnamon. I love this nice cinnamon. It's the balance active. Nice cinnamon. I love it. So I always have to take the main thing. So back of my hand. Yeah. So I'm going to allow this to sit into my skin, and then the final thing I'm going to be using is the simple light moisturizer. So yeah, that's basically it. So that's basically it. As you can see, the glow. <laughs> As you can see, my skin. So, where will the peeling start to come out from? So, please hydrate your skin. You can see the hydration. Let me just go in with my lip gloss. <laughs> so, this is how I use the Codison soap. The days I'm going to be using it. So, like I said, two to three times a week. And so, the day I'll be using my Codison soap, I use it at night. And yeah, basically, this is it. So, you see, after this type of hydration, my skin cannot be peeling. My barrier cannot be compromised. So yeah, this is basically how to use Codison soap effectively in your skincare routine. And also, the other tips I give is what and what you should use Codison soap with and what you should not use Codison soap with. So yeah, that's it basically. If you found this video very helpful, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, please hit the notification bell to know when next I post my next video. And if you have any question whatsoever, please don't forget to leave it in the comment section. I'll be there to answer all your questions. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. I love you. Room 2110, I knocked on the door at the penthouse suite, cause I needed more from you.